welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. My readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. I want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have shown me towards my channel. And for my new subscribers, welcome. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted. So first, I would like to invite the Holy Spirit into my area to give this reading light and love. Next, I would like the reading singing bowl just to give this reading positive energy and positive vibes. Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Starting right off. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, first card, Eight of Cups. Eight, that old water sign, huh? Our energy right off the bat, walking away, wanting something or someone better. Wanting something different. This is like abandonment beginning a new journey, taking a different path. This is the traveler card. This is like now going against others' expectations. Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so as far as this Eight of Cups is concerned, I'm getting a big feeling of maybe right now someone has left a relationship, someone has left their job, someone has just up and walked away. Um... Even before what was happening right now with the quarantine and with the people having, having to go into isolation, it was like just wanting to be away from a situation. So I feel like somebody just didn't like the situation they was in. They didn't like the relationship. They didn't like the job. And they were going to abandon the situation regardless. As of now, taking a new journey, walking in a different path. This makes me feel like someone as far as even their religion. Maybe someone is changing their occupation altogether. Like you didn't like what was being you had over here. You wanted something different. And now I'm um, changing my career path, changing my relationship path, changing my religious path. Like going against others' expectations. Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it's giving me the feeling of like now someone is maybe taking a spiritual route or maybe taking a more religious route, religious route. And it's making other people nervous, making people in your family nervous, making them decide that mm, maybe she's crazy, maybe he's crazy, something's wrong with them, they're um, cursed or they're like really just trying to go against you because now you are making decisions and wanting to do stuff for yourself um and then we have the queen of swords the queen of swords this is the person that tells it like it is you're not taking any shit this is what it is this is how it's gonna be and i'm over this having the ability to make plans and devise strategies and to complex problems in unemotional, detached, unbiased, non-judgmental ways. Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Um, the queen sets clear boundaries. This person can see easily see misdirection and lies. They combine their mental clarity and their intellectual power and they give great advice. Water babies, you guys give great, great advice. You trust your intuition. So with this, I'm having the feeling like you're trying to figure out your situation, devising strategies. Like right now, quarantine, nobody's able to go out. People are 
on your subject to whatever this virus situation is. And it's like, I got to figure out a different way to make money. I was already in a problem before this started, and now I'm trying to figure it out. This also makes me feel like whoever the person is, that the people, the family is, you're going against other expectations. It's making me feel like you're setting clear boundaries as far as they're concerned. Like, don't come for me. Don't try to talk against, you know, what I'm, my spiritual route or the way that I'm going. Don't do that. And right now, I'm not dealing with you on that level. Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also, I'm getting the feeling like of someone, this is for someone, not for everyone, dealing with a person or having a situation where you completely can smell the bullshit. You're like, this person is having a conversation with you and they're telling you maybe it's about money. That's what it feels like. I can't give you your money because whatever the issue is that they're lying about. And you're like, fuck out of here because that's not the truth. And you know that this person did something else. Even a person that has been cheating is like, I haven't been messing around with this person. You're like, you know the shit's not true. Like, you are not with it. Like, a person cannot pull the wool over your eyes right now. You're really, with the 2020 vision, you're not fucking with it. Um, not being very emotional. That's what the queen is giving me a sense of. She is, like, really handling her business and she not she's not being emotional or he's not this is just the energy so don't take it literal they're not dealing with their emotions right now and this person is basically um i want to know the information and this is what it is then we have the three of pentacles that's like teamwork collaborating with others to achieve big results taking pleasure and admiring your hard work so somebody that's very creative she this girl's over here drawing something so we're just gonna go with an artist being very creative and she's actually drawing a picture of the woman that's there so but she's being taught so that's also like learning a new skill because this teacher here is probably directing her as to you know what lines to create spirit what message do you have for our water signs pisces cancer scorpio and but this is also giving me the feeling of working with people and as of now right now that's probably not a situation that can happen but maybe even collaborating online with a set of you know people so a lot of people are working from home so that's like giving me the feeling of conferences um streaming just something creative like streaming your art maybe streaming your music doing something of that nature and just like standing back and watching and admiring how it's coming together something different that you've never done before um we have this card right here everything is fine i leave this card in here and it's actually the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is painful endings, deep wounds, betrayal, loss, or crisis. This is like your partner may have cheated on you and a colleague may be spreading nasty rumors about you. Or a family member may have betrayed your trust. This lady is laying here with all these stab wounds and yet she's on her phone. She's dealing with her situation she's dealing with her problems or maybe she's just taking a picture of you killed me and now i'm taking a picture i'm dead like you know how back in the day they would take the pictures and they would look like they were asleep but all the while you know they took the picture spirit what messages do you have for our water signs pisces cancer scorpio so with the Ten of Swords, this is like something coming to an end, a situation coming to an end, a love situation coming to an end, a friendship coming to an end. You, uh, Somebody in your family could have betrayed you. So this significant other or this person, husband or wife could have betrayed you. This is like being in a crisis situation. Like I can't deal anymore. I got all these stab wounds. I'm over it and I'm just done. This is like somebody talking about you. Somebody basically, um, oh, she's this or the he's that or, you know, just being a nasty friend, nasty person to you. 
this is like not being able to trust anybody. That's what that feels like. Like right now you feel like everybody is against you. Spirit, what messages? Okay. We have the three of wands. Okay, three of wands. Spirit, what messages do you have for our water signs? Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio? Three of Wands is like reaping the rewards, accomplishing your goals, limitless opportunities, change and transition. Doors are opening for you, and this is like making your own decisions. So the person coming along with this offer could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, trying to open some doors for you, helping change your situation. This could also be about moving to a different place, moving to a different state. You have the Ace of Wands. But this person is like now trying to assist you and help you. But this is also about making your own decision. So when they come with this offer, you're gonna be able to say, I don't want it this way, but I want it that way. So standing here, just looking on the horizon and just trying to figure out what your next move is. This is also like reaping the rewards of what has already happened. Like maybe someone just got promoted and that was the thing that you wanted. You wanted to go to the next level. So you accomplished a goal. Maybe you have completed your music, your soundtrack, your one um, CD. Maybe you have completed your fifth CD. Maybe you have completed your first virtual art gallery showing. Maybe you have now um, did your first stand-up comedy situation but now you're doing all these things online you're changing you're making your own decision because as of now there are no gatherings so people are having to come up with different ways of making their money okay and then we have the ace of wands again another aries leo or sagittarius person coming around new beginnings like i said this person could be opening new doors for you this person could be helping you do you know figure out how it is to still move around without being able to move around this is like creative sparks, fertile ideas, an upsurge of optimism, creativity and enthusiasm, new ideas or passion for someone. This is really like listening to your intuition, water babies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and knowing what it is that you want to do. Like the universe is telling you, spirit, clarify the eight of cups for our water babies. This is like literally changing and following what you want to do listening to your intu intuition and now saying okay i understand the world is becoming different stuff is happening but i gotta figure out a way to still push through and get out my creative spark how am i gonna do that with people having to stay home without people being able to gather so this is where new ideas are going to come along for you water signs Spirit, clarify the Eight of Cups for our water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is making me feel like just new things coming to an end, endings and new beginnings. Like literally walking away from what you knew before in life, water signs. Spirit. Okay, we have the star clarifying the Eight of Cups. So the star is about vision, hope, guidance, seeking a new direction. It's seeking a new direction. Like, literally, this is... You're following something right now, water signs. The star is the embodiment of hope, healing, relaxing, and enjoying the break. Spirit, clarify the Queen of Swords for our water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The star is the common influence that brings messages of renewal, optimism, and inspiration. It reminds you that the universe is working in your favor. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarifying the Queen of Swords. So the universe is working in your favor. And just have faith in where you're being taken, water signs. Things will be okay. Just take it easy. Right now, with the state of how everything is again... And we're dealing with this virus. Just relax and take the time. Okay. Spirit. Clarify the three of pentacles. 
just relax relax and take the time maybe you know get some housework done um if you're under quarantine or if you're being isolated or if they're just you know you're having to work from home this is now the time to get your home in order okay we have the six of cups clarifying the three of pentacles this is now the time to get your home in order water signs I want to go back again to seeking a direction because even walking away, it's like almost like your spirit guides are telling you to take a different direction. And this is making me feel like somebody is having a spiritual awakening and maybe they might be taking it hard. And so it's like, or they're having a difficult time with it. So it's like, just take a break, continue on gaining the wisdom, continue on gaining the knowledge, everything that you need, but just fall back relax and enjoy this break for right now do what you can to restore your mind body and your emotions like your spirit put everything back in so while you're now home or while you're now having to be um isolated to this one area this is now a good time for you to sit relax and learn to meditate also this is giving me the feeling of i've been having i had a dream last night and it was making me feel like remember to and i don't know if you can if you have time if you can go and do this right now seal up the cracks of your homes like it go through your house very thoroughly and this is the time to now because if you're in isolation mode and this is just what this person is giving me walking away isolation abandonment and it just triggered this so sorry um seal up the cracks in your home go through your house and make sure there is no spaces in between the doors because the animals are acting weird and now rodents and stuff are wanting to come into people's homes like just make sure that bugs are wanting to come into people's houses and bugs rodents they bring disease clear up the cracks um also while you're in isolation be on a buddy system, I guess. Make sure that you're checking on the elderly people. Make sure that um, you have people checking on you as well. Um, this also helps restore your mind, body, and soul. Just make sure that you are staying on track, staying on task with being home and making sure that your area is clean. Because when your area is clean, as you know, you sleep better, you feel better, and it makes everything kind of go the same but again it's giving me the spiritual path of it all like spiritually you're able to meditate better in clean areas you're able to envision or pray better probably is what i want to say in areas that are not cluttered or not infested so take time to clean right now make sure everything is clean water signs okay then we have the will of fortune the will is like karma luck chances cycles habits patterns ups and downs um the will of fortune is constantly revolving sometimes you'll be, able to be at the top and sometimes you'll be at the bottom the, the will reminds you that nothing is permanent good or bad so just so you know this too shall pass what we're in right now this too shall pass cherish the lessons that this moment is bringing you so if you're again having to sit still, having to now just take time to enjoy, I guess, if you're with someone who you're with, take time to enjoy your time to meditate. Just take time to enjoy what this break is giving you. And because right now you can get a whole lot of mental clarity right now. And this is also giving me the other thing about this dream, trusting your intuition. You can get clarity. 2020, there's a lot of shit happening right now. And you know it's not not right. You feel that it's not right, Pisces. Trust your intuition. Now's the time to go within because you're having to be isolated. Now's the time to, like, write this shit down. Write what's happening. Write this stuff down. Um, you can't control what the will presents you, but you can control your response. And right now, this is like, you're stuck in a house. You're stuck in the situation that now we're having to be home. Or now you're having to be put in this situation, taken away from your job, taken away from your family, taken away from... Listen, 
I got so much more, but I'm gonna focus on this because by the end, I got probably it'll probably come out anyway because the dream was so much bigger than this. Um, and being as though it's like clarifying the Queen of Swords, the will is clarifying the Queen of Swords. It's like telling it like it is. Don't hold nothing back. Say what's on your mind. Making plans and devising strategies. Right now, whatever circumstance or whatever situation you're in, don't just let it fall by the wayside. Now you have to deal with whatever's happening. So if you have stuff that you know you good and well cannot um, not pay, but yet you're in a situation to where now you're home, um, deal with it now. Don't wait until later creating clear boundaries to people because people will now try to take advantage of you Pisces. Now the situation where everybody's put in a bad place and now's the time that they go to the gullible people or the naive people and that's what they consider like the water babies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what they consider you are the the go-to person for everybody. Don't put too much weight on your situation create boundaries when people are coming to you oh i can't do this that and a third right now everybody's in a situation misdirection and lies don't allow people to just come and play on your emotions to get stuff from you because right now is the time when you have to make sure that you're doing what you need to do for yourself as well again this is like making me feel like mental clarity even with the queen of swords right now you have to focus water signs meditate pray go within get in your zen spot okay um i'm gonna go here to the queen of wands because i don't know remember which order but we'll just go here because i think she i never clarified with the um that card behind here which is the three of pentacles i never asked spirit to clarify and then this card fell out is what i think happened so we're just gonna put her over here and let her set pretty so we have the Queen of Wands, confident, wise, experienced. This is like a teacher person, very positive, very optimistic, good at inspiring others. Listen, somebody is like really literally dealing with someone that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius because they're coming out pretty heavy in this reading water signs. I don't know if this is somebody that you're dealing with or I don't know if this is a cross watcher that is really like all up in your business but trying to figure out what you're doing water babies but this is giving me like um here I have arrived this is also giving me like because Pisces Cancer Scorpio I know you're the people who are like the teachers you're the um, I trust my intuition. People come to you for advice. We're also very good at motivating people. So I don't know if this is your energy or their energy, but right now it's like making me feel like you have to kind of help push people through this time because this is going to cause a lot of depression, a lot of just mess and massive suicides or massive deaths happening because of the fact that people are now having to isolate themselves in there and people just don't know what to do sometimes when they're having to deal with themselves and i feel like water signs you guys are very good motivators you guys are the people that people will go to to try to get inspiration for times like this then we have the six of cups clarifying the three of pentacles this is very nostalgia very innocent like childlike behavior or child, something reflecting from your childhood, reflecting on the past. What happened back then that can help you now? Getting connected with your inner kid, being sentimental, feeling very positive. So this is making me feel like, you know how when you were a kid and you had to, um, you would go out and you would um, camp with your friends or you would go out, you weren't really camping, but this is, you know, you would make tents or you would just do, um, stuff, build forts or something. This is what this is making me feel like for this time. Like going back to those times when they were simpler and bringing those types of behaviors, the teamwork, the collaboration, um, that type of energy back. So you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn maybe on this type of, like the team building, taking pleasure in what you guys can do together. Like feeling like 
okay, well, this is what we're doing, but this lady is giving this kid some ice cream. So maybe even dealing with your kids, protecting your kids, making sure that they have everything that they need right now to go through because kids are out of school and still teaching them and making sure that they still continue on their education, even though now they're in a time where some kids aren't um, having to do schoolwork or whatever. Like my son, they have computers and so they're doing their schoolwork from home, schoolwork from home still. But there are some kids that are out of school, their schools don't have computers like that, but just still making sure that your kids are being taught the lessons. That's what that's giving me that vibe of. Spirit, clarify the Ten of Swords for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Spirit, okay, I got two cards clarifying for you guys. Okay, so, so the Magician and the Devil, oh God. Okay, this is like, we'll go with the magician first seeing the world of possibility seeing the world through the eyes of magic this is about power and this is about skill this is about understanding and learning um this is about the ability to create so even though you're going through this painful ending and this reawakening this these people are talking about you behind your back these pe people have tried to take your life away these people have tried to just demean you this is still working your magic through this this magician she has all four suits the magician i love this mag magician in this deck um the magician is like wielding all suits of the minor arcana they are like learning to deal with themselves so like i said while you're in isolation this is like learning to get your chakras together get your aura get everything under like what it is a positive in a positive place um learning about your capabilities embracing your power within like and also being able to harness this power and manifest it into the universe like even though you're restricted still being able to by the time you come out of this being a better person you have dealt with your bullshit and you are now learning to like wield everything the magician advises you to ask lots of questions so this right now may be like going to read books right now going online to audible even though you can't go to the um, library so there's ways of like downloading books and stuff like that so learning more about yourself this is again like i said trusting your intuition you still don't have to hold yourself back because i like i told you before this too shall pass you must be willing to do the work step outside of your comfort zone and follow your natural urges so right now while you're home water signs this is the time to dig deep within and get your power get your power on the outside so not living in the crisis or you know just these people did that take that hurt and turn it into some type of help some type of power to push you forward then we have the devil this is about addictions alcohol drugs obsessions being obsessed with people so maybe falling back from the internet and i don't know about you guys but i've been noticing in the past couple days for some reason my phone seems like it's slowing down so that's a whole different story because even on that i'm feeling like blackout shutting cell phones down so that way that the information can't be given back and forth so i don't know but that's something that was in my dream too um attachments being attached to people or drugs or just stuff that is not really a good attachment um these people are attached together so maybe being attached to a person this is about temptations dark destructive patterns people that are lying you could be lying water signs being very negative don't be negative water signs this is giving away your power this is like feeling like you're stuck to something, someone, or a situation. Feeling very powerless. Feeling like you have no control. Feeling like you are somewhere that you don't really want to be and that you're convinced that you have no options. But this is the furthest thing from the truth, water signs. You are not trapped by external forces, but you're, tra you're trapped by your own limitations, your unwilling to, unwillingness to move forward. 
So this is like push forward. You heard you hold the keys to your own freedom, but it's up to you to open the locks. There are things that you must let go of. You could be dealing with a Capricorn in this situation. So if this is you, you could be dealing, like you got to let go of the drugs. You got to let go of the alcohol. You got to let go of the attachments, the unhealthy attachments to these people. Um, this is so crazy that all of these three cards are together. Like it's almost as if I'm stepping into my power, but I feel like I have none because these people so it's like you're stuck in between the situation where these people have done so much to you but use this use this negativity right here to wield all of your power through the hurt take your power back from so it's like using the power from the pain i don't know if that makes any sense but like taking that all of this mess that they have done and using that to come through like a phoenix like they killed you but now um bigger better more beautiful um more powerful so it's like arising arising like a phoenix i don't know if that look and this is like this why it's giving me this because the, the wings um yeah this, that's weird but use that use that hurt use that energy to make something better come out of this situation way better spirit clarify the three of wands for our water signs okay we have the five of cups clarifying the three of wands loss sadness feeling let down hurt by someone dwelling on negative and being negative behavior and dwelling on negativity and self-pity sorry couldn't get that out um this is like looking at the positive to get out of the negative do not spend too much time living in self-pity so all your cups are just spilled over and you're just not happy right now and since it's clarifying the three of wands it's like giving me the feeling of moving away like you want change you want some transition you're not happy with what happened and it's like you're over it i'm done i'm tired of being let down i'm tired of being hurt i gotta get away from this situation and right now i'm just wanting to make my own decisions i'm not dealing with nobody else's mess and i'm fucking moving past that that's what it's giving me the feeling of so someone for someone that's what that is i'm just over it so change transition i gotta get away from here i gotta get away from this situation spirit clarify the ace of wands for our water signs pisces cancer scorpio okay so we have the page of wands again like i keep saying you guys must be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius because it's like this person keeps coming out pretty darn heavy in your reading um page is excited about love excited about life this is the traveler card following your passions following your created your creativity um this is experiencing life for what it is trying something new trying to figure out your purpose and then here with the ace with the clarifying the ace of wands this is again like i said new beginnings fertile ideas listening to your intuition and as we know, there's not too much travel that can go on right now, but it's like still being very passionate. So dealing with your, like, this is like get being able to get it, everything together. This is your time, water signs. This is your time to now do that art. Take those pictures right now when you're um, having that downtime, because now, again, travel is restricted. Now's the time to put all your time, energy, and your work into that creative thing. Deal with your music. You can set up a studio in your own house. Write that book. You have time on your hands right now. Um, paint those pictures. Do everything. Do like, Write down your, um, your comedy. Write down your skits and practice them for people. Do, put it online. This is the time. You have time right now on your hands. So don't just let this be like, oh, I'm stuck in a house. I'm isolated. I can't do nothing. If you feel good and you're stuck in the house, now's the time to put the time and energy into that creative thing. Because like I said over here, 
coming out like the phoenix when you come out of this this too shall pass so when we come out of this no weapon formed against us shall prosper because things look bad they're not bad things look a certain type of way but it could actually be a setup for your future it could be a setup for something successful so use this time to push you forward water signs into your next destination the will of fortune this again like i said it seems like a sticky situation but there can be because this is like your last card ace of wands really page of wands clarifying the ace of wands but new beginnings yes there's stuff that hurt us yet but use that pain turn it into passion make progress so this is your reading water signs. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the post bell so you get alerts when videos are posted. Guys, remember to subscribe. And also, um, if you wish to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box below. If you wish to email me, all the links are in the description box below. I'm not doing any personals at this time. Um, maybe that a change being as though we have, I have time on my hands now. Um, also I wanted to say about my dream. If you can call and check up on people, just make sure because my dream consisted of people just disappearing. It's almost as if it's like the rapture, but on two things. Yes. Maybe some of these people can be caught up in a rapture, but on another thing, people just disappearing period and check on your people if you know that these people are isolated by themselves continue to make sure that they're okay i don't know if there's anything you can do about it anyway but at the end of the day trust your intuition water signs you know that you know that you know that you know everything's not lining up okay that's all i'm gonna say